This test helps to examine hand-eye coordination. Now, hand-eye coordination is a complex cognitive skill because it's blending both visual ability with our motor senses because we're going to be able to make a guided hand movement based on the visual information that our eyes received. So this test is all about being fast and accurate. So this unit is going to be illuminated like this. We're going to have a green target that's going to turn up and we have to make a swift, rapid, accurate movement and turn that light off. This is all about being fast and accurate. So if we just set the screen up, the idea of this is to make fast, rapid movements to constantly changing targets. Now, the beauty of this piece of kit is we can use this as a data collection tool, but we can also use it as training. So we can sometimes find that people may have a really good ability for hand-eye coordination in three quarters of the bar, but we might find that there's a particular quadrant where they struggle. So if we find that that's an issue, we can actually design a training protocol, for example, to help to improve their hand-eye coordination, for example, in the top left quadrant or the bottom right quadrant or any area that's difficult for them. We sometimes find people are really good and really fast and accurate in that centre, but we find that the peripheral side of things is tricky. So again, we use this with athletes from all different kinds of sports. When we're training premiership goal goalkeepers, for example, we end up making the targets really, really small. We can desaturate them and we work on that periphery. We can start loading this issue with even more difficult things, like we can put them on balance balls and we can even use things like the synaptic strobe glasses, which we might talk about later, to add an extra layer of difficulty to this test. So this is hand-eye coordination.